Hey guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 1 of The Saints Magic Powers Omnipotence. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. <laughs> Pretty far. The dragon? Oh, look at the squirrel! Like it isn't it? You're just now going home. Hmm. So I wonder how she's gonna get Isekai. Is someone gonna summon her? Is she gonna get hit by Chuck Coon? Is she gonna get pushed by the by someone from a moving train? There's so many ways that she could possibly die and then be, you know, reincarnated. Oh, but there you go. I mean, damn, that was a little too quick. <laughs> uh -huh. oh. Then if that girl, the young chick's supposed to be the saint, who's she supposed to be? The saint's lackey? So then would it just be better to go ahead and just send her home since you just need one? You can't send her back home, can you? She wants to go home.
Yeah, because I don't think they possibly even know how to send you home. I mean, yeah, they summoned you out of the blue, but you would think that they would also know how in the world to send her home or anyone home. This is the same thing I wondered when I watched Steel Hero this, for the first, second, and third time. Are you accustomed to this world now? I mean, I think it would take a little longer than like two weeks. Oh, hey, puppy. Can't you just be her escort? Come here. Good boy. There you go. Hey, how squeaky this chair will be on my back. <laughs> Okay. Well, hun, you're you're now like in an East like I so yes still you're in a game. He's so cute. <laughs> oh my guess you've fallen for her too, of course. <laughs> I mean, like, mm, probably two weeks ago, you were miserable after coming here.
<laughs> Seriously, th Really? <laughs> I know, y'all didn't mean to summon two people. That's okay. But, you know, it is what it is. It makes you wonder how the other chick is currently doing right now. I mean, I bet you she's probably busy as hell right now. I gotta say the eye catch is pretty. I mean, it's it's simple, but I like it. Simple is usually sometimes the best. Yeah, might as well be Jude. Yeah, because you guys already know each other. You established a relationship. You know. <laughs> oh. Well, the herbs are the reason of why it's going to change color, or do you add something to that? <laughs> no. No. You know, if she's still a newbie, I mean, come on now. Oh, it's like a, yeah, it's the same color, but it looks more purpley rather than pinky. It's pretty. I mean, does it essentially mean like she's OP or semi OP?
That's a good question. Maybe add like 10% maybe. So say how you feel after making one. Happy, different, amused, surprised, something. <laughs> but Jesus, how much do you want to make? There's something wrong with it. Oh. But you had to add, like, something in it, especially when, like, your magic and then, like, the purple magic or pinky magic came in. You had to do something. Mm, it, it's kind of similar. <laughs> A few months later, damn. Now she got ridiculous OP, like, mm. the dragon. Okay. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't hurt to have a backup and a backup to your backup. I'm just saying. Because of the dragon. Mm -hmm. well but that's still a dragon necessarily even though it doesn't have wings well no okay, okay.
really, I mean, y'all don't got time to sit here and talk about this. Jesus. It's the guy with the red hair. Yeah. That girl. Yeah, so something tells me you two are going to have to switch. Might not work though. Oh, you got pretty blue eyes. Oh, she's so cute. Okay. All right. So I got a lot of questions. <laughs> oh, boy. But see, why does the director have to send notice about saying something about that I am right? So either he he's a double agent or something, because there's still a little bit unanswered questions, and this is only the first episode, and I'm guessing this is probably a 12 episode series. Um, honestly, she's adorable. I hate the fact that you know, out of all the ways to get isekai, you're on the way home from work, working late into the night. Um, you come home, you ready to go to bed, maybe eat something, and then bam, you just get sent in out of nowhere. And you and this other chick. So it makes you wonder what the other girl um, essentially had to deal with. I do like the fact that they did talk about her a little bit in this episode, but it would have been better to see also her POV into this. Yes, Say is the main character of this show, but it would have been nice to see the other girl and the situations that she's going through because I think it's a lot harder than what Say is currently doing. So there might be a possibility that her and Say might switch roles and jobs. Um, Say will be the new saint and the girl who is the current saint might possibly, you know, go to school at the um, institute and such. Maybe, I don't know. I have no idea what the heck they're going to have planned for her. Now, I was expecting, because it seems like we're kind of going that little route, because first you meet Jude, then you meet the director, then you meet the director's friend who almost freaking died, so very close to death, and Say was the one who saved her, so, I mean, him. So it seems like we're kind of getting a reverse harm with this. I am mad at it. I love it. Thank you, because, you know, cute anime boys are hot anime men. Let's go. But, um... Because he opens his eyes, like one eye, and the first person who he sees is her. So he might be immediately in love with her, just as much as like, I've, if you've seen a lot of other romance animes or romance movies or even romance TV shows where someone's very close to death and whatever, and then you have that doctor, the nurse, whoever, someone wakes them up from it or, or like 
nurses them back to health and they wake up and the first person who they see is our main love interest and they instantly fall in love and da da da, da and it's like that i mean come on now because it seems like we're going that route who even knows what the heck is really gonna go on but i mean i love in the beginning how she was like i want to go home i don't want to be there i don't want to be here anymore y'all don't really need me so why am i still here and the fact is she's only been there now for officially a couple of months and she's already you know accommodating in this world so she's doing really well because at first she's like yeah i want to go to fuck home i want to be here anymore like <laughs> you have all you need to send me home but it's like at the same time it, it, and it's probably like this for almost any other isekai so yeah you also gotta count shildiro in there you know once they summon them you'd be like all right hey i want to go home like deuces let me go home and they're like oh we don't know how to send you home <laughs> Why did you summon me? What is the reason why am I here? What is my purpose in this to get a second chance at life? Because I was like killing myself by working a, a nine to five or nine to ten or nine or whatever job, and so you just took me out of it. Because it makes you wonder. And I've always like even with like the fact it's like finish Kuma Kuma Bear um, or any other freaking isekai show when someone gets isekai. What the heck happens to the families when they find out about something? Like, do they just tell them, like, oh, hey, like, your kid died or something? Like, how do you explain that to the families? Like, we never, uh, you know, one day, yeah, hopefully. Somebody's going to make an anime of that. One day we're going to see the POV of the family. <laughs> of something, but like, yeah, uh, our son or daughter or whoever has been easy kind. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> And like, oh my god, honestly, that would be really interesting just to see how a family would cope um, of the thought of losing their child like that. I mean, though, it's really scary, but mm. but yeah, this first episode was really good. Got a lot of unanswered questions with that ending, wondering what the heck is going on, but of course, we ain't gonna know until we continue with episode two next week. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode one of the. <coughs> <clears throat> the Saints magic power is omnipotent. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Tuesday for episode two. Bye, guys.